In polynomials, we have to be able to identify the exponent of a variable. The exponent is the small number above and to the right of the letter that makes our variable. So in this case, x cubed, the exponent is 3. If we have x to the 5, the exponent is 5. This is quite simple. If we have a monomial that has a numerical coefficient, it doesn't change anything. The exponent is still this small number up and to the right of the x, so the exponent in this case is 2. If we have a mixture of variables and exponents, but we are asked for the exponent of x, we can ignore the others and see, again, the exponent of x this time is 2. In this case, we're ignoring the y cubed, and we see there's an x there, but there is no exponent written there. We have to realize that that means we have x to the 1, y to the 3. If your exponent is 1, you don't have to write it. But if you are asked the exponent of a letter that doesn't have a number, then you just have to know. There's a 1 there. The exponent is 1. In this case, we don't have an x at all. We can still answer this question because there is a rule in polynomials that any variable to the power of 0 is equal to 1. This is a law of exponents that we have to know. Therefore, a b squared c cubed could be written if we want a b squared c cubed x to the 0. x to the 0 is equal to 1, so by multiplying the monomial by 1, I'm not really changing it. And that means the exponent of x in this case is 0. Using these tricks will allow you to find the exponent of any variable while you're working with polynomials.